Hey guys, so we're back on doing P pump six seven stuff. Um, got all the pistons. I got the rings all gapped, so we're gonna get uh, the rings all installed on the pistons, and then we're gonna install the rods on the pistons, and then maybe get the crankshaft to sit in it tonight. Uh, my my main studs are supposed to be here tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm gonna retorque. I'm gonna torque everything, like put everything together till I get the studs. So, anyways, uh, let's get after here. So these are the pistons that we're using. They're just a stock Mahler replacement piston. Nothing special about them, just so you guys know. I got the rings all gapped. Here's the pins. So when you're doing, putting your rings on, I always do the oil ring first. These can be a bit of a pain. These can be a bit of a pain because there's two pieces to them. Whoop. And you don't want to drop that piece out. So I always put that piece on first. And for you guys that have never had one apart, they spread apart like that. So you want to keep that gap to the back side of the ring when you put it back together. So at this point, the orientation doesn't matter as far as the way that they're indexed on the piston because you do that before you set it in there. And then the oil rings on these ones they do have a marking on them. They are, I don't believe that they're, cause they're exactly the same side to side, but I always put the marking up. Just better safe than sorry. And these ones you can just spread with your fingers. They're not real hard to spread. You just wanna make sure you get that oil ring or the uh, oil spring, actually it's called to go inside the ring. Sometimes can be a job. Like this one wants to fight me. There we go. How's it ever want to fight? Okay, usually this is easy. There we go. Anyway, so that's that. <clears throat> it's not usually very hard. Sometimes it's because the camera's on. That's what I'm going to go with. So, and then on these ones, there again, these ones are marked with an M. And the you can see, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It's marked with an M right there. And then the way that it's angled down, that groove needs to go down. So... I don't know if you guys, any of you guys have ever used piston ring pliers. This is piston ring pliers. These ones are snap-on ones. I'll put a set down below in the in the uh, description if you guys want to see. They're basically all made by the same company. Ouch. And then your last one, and like I said, we, we already gapped all these rings, same idea. You wanna put your M up to the top, or an E, depends which way you look at, it's actually an M, but. And then that's all there is to it. So when you're doing your orientation, <clears throat> what I always do is you put your oil ring one way, and then you index basically like nine and five for the top two, opposite of each other kind of idea. So you just don't want any of them to line up. So anyways, that's putting the rings on. Not rocket science by any stretch of the imagination. What I'm gonna do is put the time lapse for the other five. <clears throat> I'm gonna time lapse for the other five and then we'll come back to you when uh, we're getting ready to put the um, rods on. Something you guys want to note uh, when you're putting the rings on is when you're using the ring tool, you want to make sure that you don't spread the rings more than you have to because you can break them while you're doing it. Just I wanted you guys to be forewarned um, and just take your time doing it. It's not that hard to do. Make sure everything moves around freely. All right, guys, we're getting ready to put the rods on now. I guess I actually started this one already, but you want to make sure you lube up your bushing do with those rods. 
I've already checked the sizes of these rods. Everything is good where the spec that I want it to be. Um, but you always want to lube this bushing really well. We use a uh, cleavite uh, bearing guard when we're putting stuff together. Lube the pin. Um, and then when you're putting these clips in, something I wanted to note is these ones actually aren't real bad for it. But a lot of these, cli a lot of these clips will have a flat edge and then a rounded edge. You always want to put the flat edge towards the outside of the piston. So that if it's banging up against it, it has a harder time. I honestly don't think it would make a difference. But some guys say it does, some guys say it doesn't. I always do it the same way, so then if it screws up, then I know it was me. But, um, and then on this raw, on this combination, so you're gonna wanna do blind hold a camshaft is basically, is how you wanna look at it. So front of the engine, blind hold a camshaft. As long as you guys can see that. Blind hold a camshaft. Your orientation of all of them are not always gonna be the same. So you wanna, uh, you wanna make sure if you're putting an engine together with stock rods, that you are putting the um, piston on the right way so and putting these clips in anyway so clip orientation some guys say that it does make a difference which way you put the clip i honestly i usually put them like this does it make a difference probably not to be totally honest with you maybe it does but when in an engine like when we take engines apart they're never in the same spot. They're always in different spots. They do migrate. So, but it does make sense if you do it this way, the heavy end's gonna be on the bottom. So it should migrate there. So that's the way I put them. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bass, put this back on time-lapse um, and we'll bang these all out. And then I think we're gonna set the crankshaft tonight too. Big thing with putting the rods on, make sure you use lots of lube and make sure you get those clips set in there properly so you don't have issues down the road. All right, guys, we got these things all assembled. Like I said, not rocket science to do it. Um, I'm just going to cover these over the bag for tonight because we are getting the other stuff. But I'm going to set the crankshaft tonight um, and then uh, we'll do half the bearing shells and stuff, set the crankshaft in, and then I'll show the rest of the video. Um, I don't know there again if we're going to... Actually, we might check the girdle. So let's check the girdle first, I guess. Make sure to see if we're gonna use the girdle or not. All right, guys, so we got the girdle sitting on here and the front case. I think I'm gonna do, I wasn't sure if I was gonna use the girdle or not, um, but I've decided that I'm gonna use the girdle. We were looking at it here, seeing what we got going on. And so we're gonna have to do a little bit of modification to the timing case and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you look, so these are the original holes for the oil pan for the 12 valve. And then this is where the common rail comes around. So on the usually what I do on them is you modify the oil pan. So you take two oil pans and make one oil pan. I think what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm actually gonna extend this case back into here. And then we're gonna drill and tap holes in it for the oil pan to come around. So if I pull this off quick, Basically, we're gonna have to extend, we're gonna have to extend this piece across. So I'm gonna get a piece of aluminum flat bar tomorrow. We're gonna TIG weld that in, machine it off, and then we'll drill and tap holes in it. Hopefully, I, regardless, I still have to, uh, I still have to, I gotta get the crankshaft in it and the mains and all that stuff anyway, um, before we can put all that on. So I'll probably do that. And I'm gonna put the, we'll just put a, a couple, we'll put the main bolts in and we'll just do first torque on those. We'll get the um, oil squirters in, the pistons in, and then we'll put the front case on, and then we'll pull everything back out of there and put the studs and stuff in, um, just because it's easier. That's the way I usually do it, just because the, then that way the girdle's not in your way. But what I'll do, I'll probably weld this up tomorrow as long as I can get the flat bar, and we'll set the crankshaft and put the pistons in, um, in the next couple days anyways. So I'd like to get this thing uh, basically ready to get paint um, in the next, uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll be ready to put it in paint. So anyways, um, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments if you got any comments and, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.